back to Bioschool. Today's topic is life table and net reproductive rate. I have taken this topic from population ecology. This is very important topic in view of CSIR net because you will get four mark question from this part. At the end I will solve some previous year questions. So let's get started. Life table. What is life table? Life table it provides the data on the number of individuals alive in different age classes and the age specific survivability and mortality rate in these classes. Life tables are of two types. One is the cohort life table and another one is the static life table. So what does cohort mean? Cohort it refers to the group of individuals of same age group. Cohort of individual from birth to death means it is used to determine the life expectancy and the survival of individuals starting from birth to death and it is age specific. The cohort life table it is used for organisms who have the very short lifespan. Whereas the static life table it is used to estimate the age structure of a given population at one point in a time. Okay, so the static life table it is the time specific, whereas the cohort life table that is the age specific, and the static life table it is used for organisms who has the very long lifespan. So here you can see the time specific or the static life table. Okay, so uh, we have to remember certain formulas. The number of organism alive it is represented by n x. Okay, then the number of dying it is the d x. Number of dying is the d x. Now the what is the formula of the d x? D x equal to n x minus n x plus one. N x is the number of organism. Survive in each class minus n x plus one. N x plus one is the number of organism present at the beginning of next age class. Okay, so here in the zero to a one age class, the n x is one thousand. So how can we calculate the d x? D x equal to n x. N x that is the one thousand. N x plus one is the number of individual that is present at the beginning of next age class. The next age class is 1 to is 1 to 2 the next age class is 1 to 2 that is 801 so dx equal to 1000 minus 801 equal to 199 similarly the dx is calculated in other words then the proportion of surviving then proportion of surviving it is represented by lx and the what is the formula for lx lx equal to nx by n0 lx equal to nx divided by n0 nx is the number of organism alive n0 is the number of organism that is present at the beginning so here the n0 value is 1000 here the n0 value is 1000 so how can we calculate the lx equal to nx that is the 1000 divided by 1000 because n0 is 1000 so the value is 1 then the mortality rate the mortality rate it is presented by qx and the formula of mortality rate equal to dx divided by nx dx divided by nx dx equal to the number of dying divided by number of alive so here the number of dying is 199 divided by 1000 equal to 0.199 similarly Average number of alive in age class that is represented by the LX that is the capital LX. Capital LX is the average number of alive in age class. LX equal to NX plus NX plus 1 divided by 2. NX we know the NX is the number of organism alive. NX plus 1 is the number of organism alive in the beginning of next stage class divided by 2 okay so here the lx the capital lx equal to 900.5 the total years lived in each age class the formula is total number lived is the tx equal to summation of lx okay we have to calculate the value of the capital lx then the summation of the lx which is the is the total years life then what is the life expectancy in its um, age class the life expectancy ex equal to tx that is the total years lived 
divided by nx okay total year lived by nx is the life expectancy so, then next comes to the net reproductive rate what is the net reproductive rate so the net reproductive rate is the average number of female offsprings that are produced by all the females in a population the net reproductive rate which is represented by r0 equal to summation of lx mx what is the lx lx is the age specific survivorship okay lx is the age specific survivorship and mx is the age specific fertility so age specific fertility rate a specific fertility that is the mx mx is the proportion of female offspring that are born to female of reproductive age okay that is the what is the mx mx is the proportion of female of offspring that are produced by the females of the reproductive age group that is the fertility rate the how many female offspring are produced by the females of the reproductive age and age is specific survivorship that is lx we know the formula of lx lx equal to nx divided by n0 and what is the nx nx is the number of individuals survived and what is n0 n0 is the number of organism alive at the start of the study okay so is the very important so this is the table that represent the life table and a specific fertility here there is the value of the nx nx is the number alive at uh, start then the dx is the number of dying and uh, the number of uh, survivorship or the proportion alive at uh, the start of age interval is the lx and the age specific fertility is mx okay so here there is a table of this table represent the value of lx and this table represent the value of mx then average number of offspring per age class okay the net reproductive rate we know that net reproductive rate is, how can we calculate lx okay after multiplying the lx into with the mx then we have to add all the value of the lx and the mx so that will be the net reproductive rate if the r0 or the net reproductive rate value is uh, greater than 1 then the population size it will it is growing if the value of r0 is uh, less than 1 then population is in decline phase if it is equal to 1 then population size stays the same and uh, we say it is in the equilibrium phase then the next point is the population size at next generation so the population of next generation it is represented by nt plus 1 nt plus 1 it is calculated by multiplying the number multiplying the number of population now that is the nt into the net reproductive rate r0 so here is the formula the nt plus 1 that is the population size at next generation equal to nt nt is the population size now at time t multiplied by net reproductive rate so if there is a question um, which is asking the what will be the population at the next generation then what will be the formula the formula will be the nt multiplied by net reproductive rate that is r0 this is the previous year question and this question it is asking about the net reproductive rate okay we know the net reproductive rate is r0 okay so so what is the formula for r0 r0 equal to summation of lx and mx lx is the a specific survivorship and mx is the a specific fertility so here is the explanation for this question what are given in the question the for the uh, age class 0 to 1 number of organism alive that is nx equal to 1000 but dx it is not mentioned we have to calculate the dx value how can we calculate the dx dx equal to nx minus nx plus 1 so here this the nx is 1000 and nx plus 1 is the 800 so nx minus nx plus 1 equal to 200 okay then a specific survivorship that is lx what is the formula of lx lx equal to how can you calculate the lx lx equal to nx divided by n0 nx divided by n0 nx is the 1000 here the n0 is the number of organism present at the start of the study that is 1000 so n0 is 1000 so 1000 divided by 1000 is the 1 okay 
then a specific fertility mx equal to 0 is already given then we have to calculate the lx into mx lx into mx is also 0 because the lx is 1 1 multiplied by 0 is 0 like that the value of the uh, is for the age group 1 to 2 is uh, given 800 okay is co in question the number of dying is not given we have to calculate the number of dying but how can we calculate the number of dying the dx is the nx minus nx plus 1 no value for the number of organisms survive with the 2 to 3 age group so the number of organism alive in nx we can calculate by by adding the dx plus nx plus 1 so it will be 500 okay after getting the value of number of organism alive with the 2 to 3 age class we can calculate the number of organism dying with the age group 1 to 2 that is 300 okay similarly we will calculate the value of lx by putting the formula nx by n0 okay n0 then after that we have uh, the mx value is already given then multiply by lx into mx okay. similarly all the values are calculated for all age groups here the n0 equal to 1000 then we know the formula of r0 r0 equal to summation of lx and mx summation of lx mx what we get the value of lx mx equal to 0 plus 0 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.2 equal to 0 0.75 so the correct option for this question is option a the value of r0 is 0 0.75 the next question question of the following is the correct net reproductive rate r0 okay here is also asking about the value of r0 you know the formula r0 is equal to summation of lx and mx so the net reproductive rate we have to remember the formula of net reproductive rate net reproductive the net reproductive rate r0 it is represented by summation of lx into mx lx is the a specific survivorship and lx is calculated by dividing nx with n0 and mx is the age specific fertility in question you will get we will always get the value of mx but you have to calculate the value of lx from nx okay and from nx and n0 and n0 it will always the number of individual present at the start of the study so what will be the value of n0 in this study in this study the value of n0 it will be 100 okay the number of individuals that are present at the start of the study is 100 okay by putting the formula we have to calculate the value of nx then they calculate the value of dx then you have to calculate the value of the lx okay then your mx value is given then you have to multiply the value of lx with the mx okay so n0 equal to 100 and r0 the formula equal to summation of lx summation of lx and mx then by adding all the values of lx and mx we got the value of r0 or the net reproductive rate is 0 0.7 so the correct answer is option c okay so the mostly the question is for the net reproductive rate r0 then this is the third question the net reproductive rate r0 is 1.5 for a given population okay here the value of r0 is mentioned that is 1.5 if nt the population of female at generation t is 500 nt value is also given then what will be the population of female after four generation okay we have studied the what the formula for the next generation nt plus 1 equal to nt into r0 so the here the r0 value is given r0 is 1.5 and nt is 500 so the population for the next generation the formula nt plus 1 equal to nt multiplied by r0 nt plus 1 that is the population for the next generation okay that is the first generation is 500 multiplied by 1.5 that is the 750 but here the question is about the what will be the population size or the what will be the population of female after four generation this one is, is for the first generation then we have to calculate for the second generation the second generation that is the nt plus 2 so nt plus 2 so for this one the nt it will be 
750 750 multiplied by 1.5 is 1125 then we have to again calculate for the third generation and for the third generation the, now the nt the value of nt is 1125 multiplied by net reproductive rate that is now 1.5 so the, in the third generation the population size it will be 1687.5 Again, we have to calculate the population size for the fourth generation because in question it is asking about the what will be the population size in the fourth generation. Nt plus 4 equal to what will be the value of Nt here? That is the 1687.5 multiplied by net reproductive rate that is R0 equal to 2531.25. So, the population size in the fourth generation will be 2531. 0.25 that is the option B is correct answer. So hope you all will be able to solve the questions from life table and net reproductive rate of population ecology. If you found this video very useful then please do like share and subscribe with your friends. Thank you for watching my video till the end. Bye bye see you in my next video.